What's going on guys, Michael or Legacy Kill HD back and today we're going to be talking about this Far Harbor DLC for Fallout 4, a quick breakdown and analysis, I'm going to go piece by piece and try to give you guys a quick analysis and tell you my thoughts and what I'm expecting from this, so let's get right into it guys. So right off the back we get our first look at this settlement, or possibly the main settlement of this Far Harbor DLC, it's obviously up here, it kind of gives you that point lookout feel in a lot of ways. I mean, it's, it looks very old. It looks like this was devastated by the war, not necessarily because of nuclear weapons, but just because of what happened around it. And then we got this, uh, we got a little picture of that Welcome to Far Harbor. It looks like we have some type of creature that we haven't been introduced to. It looks kind of like a scorpion, but possibly it'll maybe one of the main mutated creatures that we see. And then we get our first look at maybe the overall pier, the whole city, how it looks like. And obviously it looks devastated. Like I said, guys, you know, what happens around you 200 years Obviously, things are going to deteriorate. And then we get a look around Far Harbor, the overall map. It looks like some of it's been touched by the nuclear war. And then we get a swamp-like feeling right here. We got a broken boat with some type of lamp on it. Maybe we have another character. I'm not sure if I've seen that armor before. It kind of looks like a submarine armor in a way. Another new creature, obviously. Haven't seen that before. And here we get our first look at probably one of the main characters of the Far Harbor DLC, maybe representing the residents. And obviously, here we go, another another swamp uh, possible creature. And then there's Nick Valentine in the Far Harbor walking around. We get our first look here at the Children of Autumn, who I'm guessing are going to be the main antagonists of this DLC. And here I'm guessing this is going to be a possible location for Children of Adam, maybe their main location, obviously, and then possibly here's their leader. And I'm guessing it's going to be built on maybe a fort where there was nuclear weapons that maybe didn't get used. And we get our overall look at the goals and some of the uh, nuclear war that probably did touch some of these people. And possibly this may be the Children of Adam's main settlement. And we got a boat that's been destroyed with the Jaws-like creature, and we're back, I'm guessing, to the pier. In this main DLC in the audio, you can just hear the anger between the residents and maybe the children of Adam. I'm guessing we're going to have to take a side if we want to be in the Adam side or if we want to be on the resident side. I'm guessing most of us are going to be on the resident side, but we'll have to see what necessarily happens with who they are and what they stand for. And then here we got Nick Valentine, who's been mutilated in weird ways, experimented on it looks like, possibly by one of the factions. So. We'll have to figure out what happens, guys. But before I let you guys go, there are a couple parts that I do want to go over that I didn't quite get to. I kind of missed in a way. But there are many little creatures that we haven't seen. I saw that there was some type of scorpion-like creature. Obviously, it's not going to be a rad scorpion. But it looks something different. I'm not exactly sure what to expect out of it. But it does definitely looks like a different type of beast that we'll have to face. And then we got a couple of little picks at some of the new weapons and armor that I'm guessing we're going to be getting in this DLC. The little snip picks, I'm sure that there will be a lot more to explore and a lot more to get. But those are just a couple of the little mini things. And the background of this DLC is that there's a girl who's died and Nick Valentine sent to the island to investigate. So obviously I'm guessing the children of Adam do something, maybe in a ritual sacrifice of some sorts. And then the Far Harbor residents don't seem to like it obviously and that's where we get our main story and then we get a first look at possibly maybe one of our companions but anyway guys that's just my quick thoughts on this dlc let me know in the comments what do you guys think from this are there a couple parts i missed let me know what you saw and uh see you guys later